Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Don't want that. Oh, Doo Doo! Oh my god, Doo Doo back to his old ways. Wow, one of our few Jax players here in the Eldon Fleet cannot move any further forward. As BDD now just going to be divided towards the rest of the team. That handshake absolutely beautiful as well. As BDD just going to have to try and walk it out. It's not going to work though. First blood goes over to the Renata as Dudu might also be falling. Effort, what the heck was that? But it doesn't matter. He's going to be able to pick up the kill. It wasn't madness. It was genius. All calculated to yep. get. And uh, one plate, of course, is all that was picked up. So theoretically, Nongshim should be feeling pretty good about the state of the game right now if they can restabilize. So, so far, the blue side working out. And it's also going to be... Mr. Cannon. Oh. Yeah. Wow, I normally catch those. All right, Dark Matter. Falling from the sky. No cages to worry about here for Harmo, though. As it'll be interesting to see what the soul is. Hextech goes down. It's going to be infernal. Oh, my goodness. BDD has his hand shaken. As on fleek, looks for effort. Effort successfully gets underneath that 75% mark, which he's going to be feeling great about. But Sam D just going to escort Shirley towards this inner turret as well. And the teleport comes in from Ghost. And uh, he's just going to have to watch his turret die. Just nothing they could really do. And I said Shirley wasn't worth as much. And sole point for Nongshim on the line here. Let's see how their team fighting is going to go this time around. Effort spotted on a ward. Hummel Life has been so good at reading Effort's plans. So far this series, especially since the start of Game 2. Cage comes in, avoided entirely here by Hanwar, and now it's possibly their opportunity. Try and get something done. Dread. Vision available. As now Kana dives on forward on Flick. Getting in there with the Cyclone. Ghost has to feather storm. Can he actually call the blades? And the answer is yes, but the Viger is already dead. Effort lights him on fire, but Vista gets the shield and he will be all right. Dread secures the Drake. So I guess there's that, but the rest of Nongshin will be torn apart. And only the Viego is left standing. The Baron not going to be so lucky. And it's exactly the same issue from Nongshin. It's the fear. It's the hesitation. They're just standing there. Dread is making the call. Can't actually join the fight unless he would have flashed over the wall there. It's Homo Life pulling the trigger. And with the composition that Nongshim have, you should be ready for that. You should know that it's coming. They're not, though. And yeah, it's nice that you get a possible sword point, but giving up the Baron. Homo Life looking incredible here with a decisive mid game call. Absolutely. They will now not figuring themselves out. And it feels very similar to Afrika of old who would always, like, they would perfect game, game one, and then lose the series. And this is basically what's happened here, right? Uh, Hummel Life haven't closed out this game yet. They are certainly looking like this is going to be their first match win as there's the hostile takeover. Ghost avoids it with the Featherstorm, this time the cage. They're mainly for zoning. As Hamwa unable to find their angles, but they do manage to get a big cooldown out of Ghost. Kana splitting on the bottom side. Will have to be dealt with eventually, but the Jax is settled in this mid lane, pushing a wave towards Nongshim one more time. Inner turret is going to go down. Samdi will be able to destroy this inner. The top side as well. I don't think Nongshim necessarily win the race. Definitely not side lane the whole time, right? It, it would have been, yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I respect the call to keep going for team fights, but then you, you actually... Another hostile takeover fight. just going to zone them away from this inner turret. Sandy does a lot of work here, but this one minion is going to get taken down. Man, Vista has had such a good day today. His Renata also looking absolutely fantastic. Karis comes on over, tidies up that turret very comfortably. And Hanwha looking like they have the answers to all of the questions. Do. Want to wait for the opportune moment. See whether the cage actually lands. Dudu's the one now lying in wait on that flank. Spotted on that ward though. Sandi taking a little bit of damage here as Kana has found on fleek. Does get over the wall as the decoy comes in. Dread's going to secure it. Manages to lock down the Infernal Drake. But BDD is going to go down once again. Nongshim trying to escape now. As in goes Karras and looks for it. The Empress device delayed. But it's still massive. A double kill 
for Samti, Ghost is running for the hills. And yeah, congratulations on your soul. You're still probably gonna lose the game. No teleport available though. They're all running towards the mid wave. 20 seconds before effort is up. And I think it's gonna be the end. I don't think that they can actually end, especially not with Zaya still alive, but they're definitely gonna try. Karas is low. Yep, they may as well. Samti has got Crescendum as well. He's gonna be able to do a lot of damage as Ghost. He's lethality. I mean, you do have a lot of wave yeah. clear with this. And so it's they, not going like, to get to keep hitting, right? Oh, that's just going to be Nash, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like there's just not much that Nongshim can do. Great handshake there. This Vista is just going to keep them away. Hostile Takeover is going to get out the grand entrance, and that means that, that can't be used for anything else. As Dudu is actually going to take a lot of damage here. Featherstorm comes down, holds onto that choke quite nicely. Sam D taking a lot of damage as Efforts trying to chase after Sam D. They do take down Dudu, and Sam D's on vision. But that's, they have to go back to sleep as Moonlight Vigil, yep, spots the gap there. Was looking for the wardrobe heading towards Narnia. Dissipates on its way there, but now the Elder is once again down relatively low. Hostile Takeover is not going to find Dread as he flashes to get himself out of the way. Dudu wants to find him. Heartbreaker gets, the no! he gets back into the pit what? and secures the Elder, and this is game for Nongshim. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Oh my, Dread looked so silly until he was an absolute mechanical genius. I think I'm going to vote for the 010 zero zero oh, VA. 100%. Atlas. Give him oh, the vote. Maybe. That was the one play. And all the smites. Otherwise, that would have been a fight for a random infernal Drake. Chronicler. Oh. oh my god, Karis is trying to do what he can, but the Dragon's Wrath will not be stopped. And that is the ace. It's now a 1 1 0 Viego Chronicler, all right? Oh my goodness, what a series. Nongshim will manage to right the ship in the end, but do they really? I don't want to answer that question. <laughs>